124 cubic inch Dyna, about eight years now, 10,000 miles. Let's touch a little bit on the advantages of doing a custom build like this versus a crate. You're probably going to be in for 15K plus when you consider all the ancillary parts, but we'll kind of, you know, walk through that as we go. Let's start with the heads, the part that makes the power. These are CBO 110 heads I found brand new, which you can't find new ones, it seems, anymore, off of eBay. Had stage two head work, port and polish, oversized valves. They flow about 315, 320 CFM, about a 90 to 91 uh, CC volume chamber. So now that we're on head volume, let's talk about overall compression and how important it is for the overall result of your build. Things like the squish band. What is it and how do we calculate it? All right, let's go over the all important squish band area of the motor build that you're doing. Essentially, this refers to the amount of space between the deck of the cylinder and the chamber of the head. So when you torque everything down, what's that squish band gap for your combustion chamber area? Uh, this, is a, this is a cylinder off of another build, but nonetheless, it's all the same. When that piston gets up to top dead center, and when you have your, it mocked up on your bike, then once it gets to top dead center and stops, you get the, the tool, the deck tool, and you lay it across the deck of the cylinder and you measure in a few different spots because there is some, some piston rock when it changes direction. So you wanna get a couple measurements and find out exactly if you're in the hole, two, three, four, five thousandths. I've seen them up to 10, 15, 20 thousandths in the hole, which is alarming because if, if you just blindly put the build together and don't check that, you don't know what your compression is. You have no idea. And when your bike is kind of underpowered, that could be one of the reasons. So you have to measure the deck height, uh, the piston and the cylinder. And if you need, if you have excessive in the hole deck height, then just get the machine shop, like I've had done a few times, to take off as much as 10 or 15 thou of surface area on the base of the cylinder. And then you just keep you know, you keep progressively taking off material until once you get to where you want. And a few under is fine. A lot of guys like to get dead on uh, zero deck height. I've had a few where they're one or two over, but essentially you want it to be within the 30 to 40 thousands area to optimize the, the consumption of the fuel, the burn, and to get the best compression knowledge of what your corrected compression is going to be once you factor in cam timing and everything else. So pay attention to that. The gaskets, um, they come in various sizes. You can get them custom made from Kometic, MLS Kometic. This is the 30,000s. Once they torque down with the uh, head bolts, they, they'll get to a 30 thou. You can get ones 36, 40, 45. I've run all kinds of thicknesses. And you can customize basically uh, where your squish band ends up. Hope that helps. On the intakes, I like to go with HPI products. They're obviously really well known in the industry for quality parts, producing a lot of power. Here's some of the details on what I have here, but you can't go wrong with HPI. The cam chest, my go to is the SNS plate and pump. And on this particular build, I went with a set of Wood 9F cams. Here's some of the specs. They, this cam will rip your arms out of its socket if you build the bike right. It tends to square the numbers. So this one did 148 squared. If you have really solid head work, that's the kind of result you're going to get. So you can't go wrong with these cams in this particular build. The bottom end is all SNS as well, 4 and 5 eighths crank. Had a Timken bearing conversion done on the left side case. The pistons and cylinders, also SNS. They make a great full skirt coated piston. I highly recommend. Uh, moving back to the rear of the bike. These are some Roland Sands, I think, contrast cut platinum diesel wheels. But let's look at the pipe. The pipe is the winner here. This is a Bassani Road Rage 304 stainless pipe. But there's a difference. Take a look at the header. There's three steps 
to this header, not the usual two for a majority of the bike builds out there. So this is specifically designed for the 124 twin cam. And I keep this thing clean, man. I, I polish and shine this thing after every ride for 30 seconds to keep all the grime off. Here's a part number. I highly recommend it for your big inch twin cam build. And to the primary side, my go-to is always Evolution Industries. Their billet clutch basket and their steels and frictions are fantastic. Top-notch quality stuff, never let me down, and hold the power. Here's the part before install, and there's the part numbers. Uh, moving on to how to cool these things. These are twin cam motors. They're really relics at this point. You need an oil cooler. That's a big-ass Jag 10-row. There's your part number. You need one on your build. And the chain conversion, this is another must if you're going to use the power, essentially. Uh, you can see here I scribed some uh, perma paint on the bolts just to make sure they don't move on me. Uh, I went with the bare knuckles performance axle adjuster, which is a nice billet piece that I'm turning that lock nut that's really strong. It won't move on you. The uh, axles are Green Brother design. My go-to axles, they make great shift leakages and front and rear axles. I highly recommend Green Brothers. Here's a look at my invoice for the Vulcan Works chain conversion kit. You can pick up the tools to break the chain, to set the rivets, all that stuff you can grab from them. I highly recommend using Vulcan Works. There you have it. Build your motors, guys. What are you waiting for? The bigger, the better. Don't hold back. If you have any questions or need some info, give me a buzz and see if I can help. But this video is making me thirsty, so I think I'm going to hop on this thing, give it the proper warm-up and everything it deserves.